Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 93. Hey, if you want to follow along by downloading this workbook, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 93 to 96. Hey, this is a follow up on uh, YouTubers Love Excel 88 and 87. In that video, we um, used the go to special blanks feature, and I want to show you two other aspects of go to special blanks now here's what we did we clicked in this cell then we used the, the uh, down arrow to scroll all the way down then we held shift and clicked at the bottom then we hit f5 to get to go to clicked on special click blanks and it highlighted all of the blanks now notice we selected our entire range first now in a moment i'm going to show you um, a disadvantage and an advantage of highlighting the range first. In, in uh, the video then we went on after we selected all the blanks and they went all the way down we right clicked went to delete and then said entire row clicked OK and that was a way to get rid of all of the um, rows that had a blank in column A. Now I'm gonna control Z to undo that and I'm gonna click over here. Now I want to show you another way to do this uh, and the caveat here is that this database is in this spreadsheet and there is nothing anywhere else in the spreadsheet because the trick I'm about to show you will not work if you have something say over here. We're going to use our same go to by hitting F5, special, blanks, click OK. Notice we didn't have to highlight the whole range. The only reason why that worked is because our table is the only thing in this sheet. Now we can right click anywhere and go to delete and then click entire row and OK. Now let's go back to this sheet and let me show you um, a way, a, a disaster. The advantage we just learned there is if there's nothing else in the sheet, why bother highlighting the whole range before using go to? If it's just a table, Perfect. Now let's try it again, but I want you to notice that there's something out here in a cell, and Excel knows that something's out there. I'm going to click here, uh, F5 to go to, special, blanks, click OK. Notice now it's highlighting everything, and if you weren't paying attention, especially if the, uh, the thing we have in a cell was way down below and you couldn't see it, now when you right click, delete, Entire row, click OK. Oops, there it is. Everything is gone. I'm going to control Z. So the m moral here is if you have something in cells um, outside of your table, then please select the whole thing and then use F5 special go to blanks. Um, however, if you have something uh, out here, um, or I mean, if you don't have anything out there like we had in this situation, then you don't need to select the whole range first. All right, we'll see you next trick.